Well, hello, digital marketers. So, in the today's topic, we are going to talk about uh, Google Ads budget pacing. Now, this topic is for someone who is already managing uh, different search display campaigns under Google, or may also be managing campaigns in Facebook, LinkedIn, or maybe any other platform. And I've seen people who have been facing uh, difficult issues to manage the monthly or the daily budget. Sometimes they get loss of how much budget is consumed by the by the project how many uh, leads the clients or the campaign is supposed to receive and everything depends on if the budget is being properly consumed or not so i think this topic should not be going to take more than 45 minutes for you to understand so let me uh, open up the sheet which i made for you now this is how the budget uh, pacing sheet format looks like which starts with uh, the platform so here in this tab, we are talking about Google only, and then we have type of campaigns, search and display, campaigns that we are running in the account, maybe generic leads, brand, RLSA, and then in display, we have two campaigns, display and remarketing. In fact, I already have uh, these kind of campaigns running in an account, but uh, let's look into the fields first. Okay, so in the budget column, we put in the monthly uh, dedicated budget for that platform which is further being bifurcated for campaign levels. Now let's say for a uh, generic search, we have a campaign budget of one lakh rupees for brand 50,000 or less 20,000, 80,000 and 20,000. Now in the last column, sorry, in the last cell, we are having sum up of this entire, uh, like all these cells, which becomes 22.7 lakhs, 2 lakhs 70,000. Now in the spend column, we update the spend either from the account so let's say i choose uh, august and click on apply and all these campaigns pull out the entire month uh, spends which i get in my cost column or i have a tool uh, by the name of uh, super matrix and using this tool you can simply uh, like add an extension into any of your uh, project budget pacing sheet and that extension will be pulling up the data, which means the overall cost of that month from the Google ad account into this spend column. So that you don't have to manually update this spend column. So it's totally up to you. That's a paid tool by the name of Supermatrix. Supermatrix, I will in fact provide you the link of this tool. And this comes with a monthly pricing. So if you, if your project allows you to make, uh, like to subscribe for this plan, you can go with Supermetrix and then uh, you have to go to extensions and you have to add a Supermetrix extension into this sheet, which will finally allow you to automatically fetch the information from any of your Google ad account into the spend columns. But here we are gonna talk about how to do it manually. So let's say from the account, we are pulling the manual information. And uh, today we are talking about uh, 30th of August. So we have one more day uh, to go for completing of this month. So let's say we are consuming or we have already consumed 93,000 of rupees over here, then maybe 40,000 over here, maybe 18,000 in the third campaign. And let's say 72,000 in the uh, display campaign under Google and maybe 16,000 on the marketing campaign. So as we are sitting on, on the last second last day of the month, so of course the budgets or the spends on these campaigns would be 90 to 95% getting consumed. Now in this remaining uh, column, I'm having a, having a simple formula where it's overall budget which is the monthly budget minus the spends. And I copied the formula from, from top to bottom. And here we get the uh, remaining budget updated in the in this particular tab. Now, we have a tab that says uh, percentage of budget is spent. And this uh, number will be getting updated by uh, choosing the spend uh, number against this uh, particular cell divided by overall budget into 100. Now I have a percentage formula over here, so I don't have to multiply it by 100. 
Now here you can see what is the remain what is the percentage of budget which we have already spent on this particular campaign, which means generic lead campaign. Now for the remaining budget, I simply uh, put a value which is hundred percent minus the percent of spend. So we have seven percent budget remaining over here, twenty percent budget remaining over here, then ten percent remaining uh, for uh, the third campaign. Now let's say if I update this uh, spend column, so let's say tomorrow in the morning I see that the budget is going to consume by a further more amount that could be 18,900, then you can see this percentage of budget is also going to get decreased. So the idea of having this sheet is to rightly consume the budget by the end of the month. No, no, we don't only see this uh, sheet towards the end. We always see this sheet uh, maybe on each and every day. Maybe we sheet, we go through this sheet at least once a week, depending on how often you try to, you know, uh, keep a tap on your account. Now, in the average daily spend column, we simply, I simply divide this, uh, like I simply choose overall budget of the month divided by 30.4, which is the average days or maybe if i talk about august then i know it's 31 days in the month so i simply update this value over here now in the last column which is my uh, remaining daily budget i simply add a formula this is going to be equal to overall remaining amount divided by number of days remaining. So this is over a monthly amount divided by today we just have, so we are sitting at the second last day of the month. That means we are left with one single day. So the remaining daily budget becomes this amount. So now I'll be going into the campaign and let's say if this campaign is the first one, then I simply uh, allot the remaining daily budget to that particular campaign. So I guess this will help you understand you control the budget for any particular project now i also have uh, created this uh sheet for you so you can see on generic leads campaign the first one is the budget uh like bar the second one is the spend bar the third one is the remaining bar so you can see for the first campaign uh we have already spent like 93 percent and then we are left with this amount this is the uh this bar is in terms of numbers but not percentage but if you want you can change like all the numbers from here and then your real numbers are going to be updated in the list now similarly when you move into another tabs it talks about brand campaign rlsa campaign display campaign remarketing campaign so from this bar even you can understand that brand or display campaign is having the uh, highest budget remaining as compared to the other three campaigns depending on the uh, like the height of the bars now similarly you can come into the facebook tabs this particular sheet and you can create a like maybe entire a graph for facebook if you want to see how do i create it i can just uh, delete this particular cell and then i can make a duplicate of this cell something like this name it facebook i'll be updating my facebook campaigns data over here now this could be branding and leads let's say i have only uh, two uh, campaigns in branding and maybe only one campaign for leads it's for all of these campaigns maybe fifty thousand. 30,000 or let's say 10,000 for this one let's keep it 30,000 so we have a total budget of 90,000 rupees so let's say we have a spend of 43,000 over here and then maybe 5,000 over here and then 22,000 over here so we are left with 7,000 rupees of budget in the first campaign 5,000 in the second one and 8,000 in the third one. So I have taken these three values for making this graph. The first one is budget, second one is spend, third one is remaining. Now I'm going to add this particular uh, sheet to the training, uh, practical training uh, sheet now. So anyone who is already going through the sheet, he would be understanding how to do the budget 
facing for Google and Facebook.